Now we should talk about something else related to moving charges. And that's the magnetic field. The magnetic field. Now what produces it? I mean, you've seen magnets work. Well, a magnetic field is the wake of a moving charge. A moving charge, as it's going by, it produces a wake, like, not like a ball, not like a boat, more like a submarine. Because a submarine, when it's underwater, it's going to produce a wake that emanates in all directions away from the submarine. It'll produce a circular wake, right? And it'll be diminishing as you get further and further away. And, and that's what that's what a magnetic field is. Uh, furthermore, the faster the submarine's moving, the more intense the wake. The faster a charge moves, the more intense the magnetic field. The only difference really is, uh, one of the main differences is, that I can, have, I can have a measurement right here, a measuring device, and a charge goes by and I'll measure a magnetic field. Or I can have the charge standing still. And if the measuring device moves by, I'll still measure, measure, measure a magnetic field. So it's just the relative motion that produces the measurement of the magnetic field. How can I use this? Well, there's a magnetic field associated with any moving charge. So there are magnetic fields associated with these DC currents and the AC currents uh, circuits that I drew. But well, let's go back to the board. I can, uh, if I have a charge moving into the board, let's see, it's going in, so right hand rule, whoop. I've got a charge, it's a line, and so what's happening is I've got a, I've got the charge moving and it's going into the board in a wire. And so let's say that produces, let's see, as it's going in there, it's going to produce a magnetic field, and the magnetic field has a direction. And that'll be the direction of the magnetic field. Sometimes I get this wrong, about half the time. But it doesn't matter because it's consistent. As long as I'm wrong with all of them, it'll be all right. Now, instead of just having it going into the field, let's say now that it wraps in and it comes back out. Uh, the X means it's going in. The dot will mean that it's coming back out. Now it's coming the other way, and so the arrows are going the other way. The magnetic field's going in this direction. And of course, the further out I get, I've got more circles, just the field gets weaker and weaker and weaker. Now let's say that, let's say that this is a loop that's going in and out, and I'm going to have more than one loop. I'm going to have multiple loops. I'm going to create a coil in and out. So here's the next turn of the coil. It comes back in through the, through the board. And it comes back out. So what I'm doing is I'm wrapping a wire, in, wrapping wire into a coil. Let's see, if, if it's coming out, it's going to be going this way. Right here, it's all clockwise. It's going in, it's clockwise, it's coming out, it's counterclockwise. I'll do one more loop. Going in, clockwise, coming out, counterclockwise. Now remember, this isn't just a two-dimensional picture. This is a coil. Like, well, let me show you here. A coil right here. So what I've done, what we've got here is we've got We've got wire wrapped around in a loop, and they're as close together as possible. Here's another coil, this piece right in here. And it's, the wire's wrapped around for a specific reason. But I want you to know it's not a two-dimensional thing. This is a, this is a coil. This is what's happening. That's what I'm trying to draw. So back to the document camera. Uh, look what happens to the magnetic fields. They're all going clockwise on this side as they go in. But right where they match right here, where they're next to each other, they cancel out. One, this arrow is going to the right, this arrow is going to the left. No magnetic field there. The same thing happens up here. On the outside, I've got a weak magnetic field because they're, sort of, they're all going in this direction. Over here, I've got the same issue, 
uh, right in between here. This one's going to the right, this one's going to the left, and so they cancel out. And down here too, I've got a weak field moving this way. But here's the cool part. Right in the middle, right in the middle, that's the core. There's wire all around here, and they're all moving in this direction. And it's this side and this side and all around it in the core, this circular core. And so I've got flow moving up, magnetic field moving up, and it adds and adds and adds. So in the core, I've got this incredibly intense magnetic field depending on a few factors. And it's going to produce a magnetic field that looks something like this. This is very similar to the magnetic field that the Earth produces. Now, how can I make this magnetic field stronger? This coil of wire, by the way, is called an electromagnet or a solenoid. They're used for switches and such. When the solenoid is activated, it becomes, when you run a current through it, it becomes uh, a magnet. If I, put, uh, if I put something in the middle, like uh, a piece of soft iron that conducts that magnetic field better it becomes an even stronger magnet. If I run the, the electrons faster, if I increase the current faster, it'll make it go faster, bigger wake, stronger magnet. If I have more turns, stronger magnet. If I compress it, I've got this coil, and if I compress it so that I concentrate the field, stronger magnet. This is a relay switch. And I don't know if you can see this, but that's a switch. It closes if it pushes down right here. What happens is if a current runs through here, runs through this solenoid, it becomes a magnet and it's going to pull that switch down and close the circuit. This is how doorbells work too. When you press the doorbell, you close the circuit, you uh, activate a solenoid because current's running through it now, and it's magnetically attracted to the bell and Ding dong. That's how it works. Now, that's how electromagnets work. Let me show you the equation for that. You won't have to put numbers into this equation. It's just, a, it's just an equation so you can see how the magnetic field, the solenoid, is constructed 